This is the Vevor deer hoist that I purchased. Okay, it was $99. I said, how can you go wrong for $99, you know? But what I found out the difference is, this one here is 74 inches tall and I used it the other night, I'll show you some video. Um, you have a big deer and you have it on the, mounted on the back of your uh, truck or you have it on the back of a uh, deer carrier and uh, the deer's head was laying on the ground. I said, well, that's a little rough uh, skinning. I purchased it because I had a bad back. It works get great, the crank's great, but for 30 more dollars, same company, I could have got one that was, I think, 102 or 104 inches tall. Okay, so I'll have to work on extending this, but it was a good purchase, you know what I mean? You have a bad back or got a big deer, I tell you what, it's a pleasure to gut a deer when it's hanging up rather than on the uh, ground, okay? I'm gonna show you uh, the deer carrier I have and uh, talk about that next. Okay, got a double. Guess no skinning and butchering in the woods tonight. I'm gonna gut them and put them in the rack and take them home. Okay, I got my hoist here for gutting and skinning a deer. <clears throat> I guess I either have to shoot smaller deer. We'll see if I can raise the hoist, but it looks like I think I got the hoist raised as high as it can go. Okay, interesting. All right. If you got a bad back or something, I guess this will help you. I guess still a little hard to swing onto the cart, the deer cart, but I think it's going to be okay for skinning. Okay, got the two of them gutted. This thing seems to help get it on the cart anyway. Makes it gutting nice and easy. Okay, got the second one in there now. I'm officially going to be done. Time to. Uh, Put everything away and we'll take a shower with some smelly soap. A couple of different things as you get older and you uh, start dragging deer out of the woods, you find out, you know, it's get harder and harder every year. You know, so if you invest in one of these jet sleds, okay, it's really worth the money. You can lay it on the side, you can roll the deer into it, roll the deer into it, and drag it along the ground really helps make a difference pulling the deer out. The other thing when you get the deer back to the truck and you want to pick it up is um, a deer carrier. They sell all kinds of deer carriers, right? So anyway, these deer carriers, the best one I found is one that has, it's aluminum, it has a ramp, right? And there's a, a bar, two inch bar that goes across a steel bar, okay? That plugs into your two inch receiver. Well, what I did was I added on, I went in the drill press and I drilled holes through a, just a bar, a two inch receiver, two inch receiver, and uh, drilled the holes really nice, you know. And then it was a little rough drilling through, trying to get drill through to straight, okay? With no drill press, you know, I used how to drill by hand, but I bolted it on. And some people say, well, why didn't you just weld it? Well. If I didn't like what I was coming up with, I could always unbolt it, you know. But this thing works great. I got a two-inch receiver. <clears throat> I could plug that deer hoist in, and I could hoist the deer. And what I found was, at first I was like, oh, the deer's hanging away from this. It'll be hard to swing in. But what you do is put a rope around the head and tie it to the end of the ramp. And as you let it down, let it down enough, it's easy to, to flip it in. Okay, it really does make a big difference. You could buy these, you know, you could buy these deer carriers with or without a ramp. I strongly suggest you spend a little extra money on a ramp. Uh, you could just drag the deer up with that too. But what I, why I bought that um, receiver was because if I'm out in the woods and where I am, I'm allowed, to, I can skin it and quarter it and put it in the cooler. I can put the cooler in here, 
I could gut it, I could skin it out in the field, cut pieces of meat off, throw it in the cooler. You know, it's a really handy thing for me, okay? I came home last night with two deer in the carrier because <clears throat> it was just too much to do two deer out in the field. And I did it in my driveway. What a mess. I had a, you know, I hosed off the driveway. It's all good now. But uh, it came in handy, you know. So spend a little more money if you get a carrier. Get one with a ramp. Okay. It'll help you. You could you stand on the opposite end with a long enough rope. And it's easy to pull the deer towards you to get it on. Okay. And the other thing is, if you want, you could add a two-inch receiver on the cart, you can have it welded, you know, somebody will just clamp it on and weld it and you'll be done with it, and you can plug in a deer hoist, allows you, I'll tell you what, it's a pleasure gutting a deer from that hoist, it was so easy to gut it, I have a bad back, this damage, and I usually, in the woods, I drag the deer to a tree, it's kind of pathetic, but I love hunting so much and nothing's going to stop me, I drag it to a tree so I know I can grab the tree, I gut it, I op you know, I open it up, I, you know, cut around the, the butt, open it up, and uh, lay it on the side and start pulling everything out, and I have to kind of climb up the tree to stand up, and then I would drag it out, either, you know, drag it, or I'm telling you what, these jet sleds are great, throw it in the jet sled and pull it out of the woods, you know, and then I'd have to get it out of the jet sled and throw it up in here, which wasn't too bad, you know, you pull it up on a ramp. So all in all, you know, as you get older, things to think about, if you're gonna buy any kind of carrier, get a nice aluminum one, that middle frame is steel, and it's easy to carry, it's easy to plug in, take off, you know, and then think about putting a two inch receiver on the end of the cart. And you could do a lot of things with that. You could put the hoist, and I recommend for $30 more, you can get a 102, 104 inch hoist and will be higher. That one's only 74 inches, it's not really higher. You know, things to think about. And I bought a set of lights, you know. You can actually plug in a set of lights in the back here, you know, a little light bar, plug it in with a pin, a hitch pin, and then plug it into your, uh, you know, your lights on your car, your truck. And uh, just give you a little added safety feature too, even, you know. So, just wanna discuss these few things with you. I'm done hunting now. I don't know how everybody ends their hunt, but my freezer's full. I'm very blessed that I was able to get enough deer meat. And uh, how you know that, how I know when the season's over, I use unscented soap, unscented deodorant all year long during the season. And when I'm done hunting, I break out the, you know, the scented uh, shampoo, the scented underarm deodorant, you know, that's to my end of the season. That's how I end it, so. Just figured I'd share this with you. I'm done. I put everything away. And uh, good luck to your hunting. I hope you were successful. If not, keep up. You know, just uh, watch your scent and play the wind. And hopefully you'll get lucky. If you didn't get lucky this year, hopefully you'll get lucky next year. All right, thanks for watching. If you want to see any of my other videos, check Bear Bow Joe. Thank you.